Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Draw My Life. I know that people usually make these videos when they hit a milestone or something like that, but let's just consider this a quick intro video of mine. So hi everyone, I'm Arshna Balasubramaniam and I recently started a YouTube channel in October. I make videos on books and creative activities and this is my story. I'm an amateur artist and uh, you cannot expe- uh, this one expect professional drawings here but I'm just going to try and do my best here. I come from a country that's known for its cultural diversity and a clue for you recently we launched the Chandrayaan 3 into the moon on the south pole where no one has ever gone before. Yes, I'm talking about India and I'm so proud to be Indian. So, in India there is this city called the silicon valley of india the garden city of india the it hub and it is very popularly known for its masal dosas uh idlis bisi bade bath etc i'm sure you guessed it already i'm talking about nama bengaluru also called bangalore so i was born in this beautiful city and though i'm a tamilian i uh, i'm very fluent with kannada so both tamil and kannada are equally my mother tongue So now you get to meet my parents. The ones you see on my screen, that's my dad and my mom. Both are really awesome and very loving parents. I know I'm making my illustrations look very kawaii like, but I've been doing a lot of kawaii illustrations lately and I can't help myself from making them look a lot like kawaii. So that's me you see on the screen there. I was a little baby and I looked a lot like pebbles from flint stones. You can see you can see that re- resemblance right there. <laughs> I was their first child and my parents were really happy. So now I started growing up and when I was a little girl this is how I looked like. My haircut was just like that and I always wore a headband. I was a very shy girl and I found it very difficult to make friends. But Every day from morning till evening whenever my parents were out for work I spent my time at my grandmom's place and I have to say she was my best friend and my favorite companion I also had the company of my dear cousin who was the same age as me and a whole bunch of other cousins and relatives so my grandmom's place was my favorite place I felt very special there because my aunt used to really love me like her own kid and then luckily even in school the extroverts adopted me and then i built a little gang of my own friends there were about five of us as you can see on the screen right there all of us looked very different from each other not like the picture and we called ourselves haspy we coined this name out of the first letter of all our names but i still used to get bored sometimes so that is when my mom came to the picture and she gifted me a book called secret 7 by inner blighton and then my dad enrolled me as a member in a library so not just that he also took me for various summer camps where i learned swimming painting dancing etc then after a few years came a little surprise into my life i got a little baby brother and after he was born i can honestly say that was the best thing that ever happened to me he was so chubby he was so cute i've never seen such a cute baby in my life and i fell in love with him He gave my life a whole new meaning. And you're probably thinking life is not a bed of roses. So where are your thorns? So let me start with these little thorns that I encountered. Okay? I already told you I'm a very shy person and I happened to find myself in a singing competition where I invited a lot of people. But what's life without a little embarrassment, <laughs> right? I started singing and I got pretty nervous and I just threw the mic because I was so nervous and then I just ran away from the stage. Push. So with that incident, I thought I was done with my share of embarrassments and I, and that I'd never go up on stage again. But then it so happened that I had to give a presentation in my college in front of just six people including my teacher. I was actually prepared but then when I came in front of the class I forgot everything and I got nervous again. People started mocking at me and honestly it was very humiliating. But like they say there is no rainbow without a little rain. And so I conquered my stage fright and then I became an MC 
and i'm so proud of myself for that i know it's a very small step but i'm very very happy with that and then i grew up into a big girl and then i started going to work i worked at a renowned investment bank for about 6 years and during this period life was really good but then again something had to rain on my parade and unlike my little challenges before this one came to become something i'd never seen i was diagnosed with a medical condition in my early 20s and it's called rheumatoid arthritis and honestly it would be an understatement if i said that my world came crashing down after that i struggled with very basic tasks like brushing bathing writing typing pushing doors open climbing the stairs and somehow i have felt very imprisoned by the disease itself it's very true indeed that they say a disease will always humble a person though there were a number of people who supported me somehow it felt very difficult because my entire life changed with that pain i couldn't do the things that i used to do all the time i loved dancing and dancing became a tough task to the outside world i used to smile but then deep inside i always used to cry and every time i found myself alone i cried and cried and cried but luckily for me a doctor walked into my life and he helped me manage my symptoms so to be honest he was an angel in guise of a doctor it's a chronic autoimmune disorder and i have to live with it all my life but then some people just made it really hard people like my own friends made it so hard for me one of my friends just came up to me and said you are obsessed and paranoid about your disease i struggled not just physically to accept my condition but then i also had to struggle mentally because a lot of people were very insensitive I'm narrating the story to you not because I want you to feel sorry for me but because I want you to understand that there are a lot of people dealing with invisible illnesses. I just wish sometimes people were a little kinder. So if you are someone who's going through this or if you know someone who's going through this, please be a support system to them. Give people around you a little time to get accustomed to your new condition. But if they don't and if they are being toxic to you even after years, then it prob- it is probably time to let them go. 7 years after that, I find myself in a much better position in life. I quit my job though it was something I loved and then I started my own small business. I have a long way to go, but I'm glad I made a start. I'm grateful for the love and support I have in my life today. If you're going through a tough time, please hang in there. Better times are ahead for you. And you know what dreams do come true and i have two lovely pet cats with me right now so that is the story of my life thank you so much for watching it stay happy stay blessed and stay kind